what do you have? I got Diet Coke with light ice in my soul. I also have my old lady back pillow. See this? Hello. <laughs> beautiful people welcome back I hope that you guys are all having an amazing day today and I hope you're ready to hang out with your girl because this outfit some of you might recognize it I am feeling the ultimate like comfy cozy bougie moment this is actually my skim set that I purchased months ago when uh, Kim Kardashian's line skims launched their like fuzzy attire I did a video on it just to like check the quality and every time I wear it it's like the most comfortable experience ever and so I thought for today's video on camera it just looks like I'm wearing a sweater anyways so we have the skims like crop top moment with the um robe that they released out of the same collection so i just hope that you guys like enjoy pairing like the super bougie nature that is Paige with her oversized librarian bun with some drugstore because i think personally i mean melding all of these worlds together sounds like a-okay with me so let's go ahead and dive into what we're talking about today we have a ton of new stuff from elf and i'm not even gonna say it's like a full face because it's it's definitely not but i did try to grab the big hitters that a bunch of you guys were asking asking me about and uh, obviously you can see them stacked over here I picked up all eight of the mini eyeshadow quads so we're gonna talk about those I picked up some of their new um, seriously satin lipsticks I have three different shades of that their hydrating camo concealer their two different primers and I picked up just because why not their pro eyelash curler because I love my eyelash curler it's from Tarte it's my favorite one that I've ever used but I'm also open to new things so let's go ahead and zoom the camera in and let's get started and let's be bougie and let's get started at the drugstore yeah I'm so sorry it just starts already y'all I am sweating something real like this robe in hindsight might not have been the best decision but it's so cute like can you just see the fuzzaliciousness of my shoulder just like I just I love it so much I even walked out to my mom and she goes well that's an outfit <laughs> and I was like isn't it though like I think it looks pretty good um you know just because this is who I am and I learned a long time ago if you are going to be anything in life it needs to be authentic and like this is me this is authentic page old lady librarian bun fuzzy pajamas like it doesn't get much more authentic than this so <laughs> hello welcome to my channel let's go ahead and talk about primers i'm just going to look them up super quickly but of course we're talking about the new primers from elf they're putty primers they have them in two different versions they have a matte and a luminous they it looks like they are eight dollars and the matte one i just scanned has 53 reviews giving it four and a half out of five stars and then the luminous one oh that one also has pretty good reviews four and a half out of five stars with 19 reviews also retailing for eight dollars and oh that's not too shabby at all okay let's go ahead and take them out and give them a look over so as far as packaging and everything goes they look pretty much identical the only difference is obviously the color the matte one is the all white one the luminous is the slightly like beigey looking one and through the container it looks like there's shimmer in it so that's interesting oh wait oh that's so satisfying hold on let me just like get in there oh <gasps> I'm one of those people that if there's a fresh jar of peanut butter and I don't get to put my knife in first, oh girl, I'm gonna throw a fit, honey. I love it so much. I love just like putting that knife in. Same with this kind of thing. I just love it. The luminous one is like actually shiny. Like, like it's, it, it's shiny. I don't think it shows up on camera, but it has like, like some version of like gold glitter in it but it's so fine like it doesn't show up as glitter oh wow that's i don't think this is going to translate to camera at all this is actually really pretty holy shnikes okay let's go ahead and look at the matte side which is just an all white primer oh oh wow okay accidentally stuck my finger right in the center <laughs> sorry this side it's right here. Obviously, you won't really be able to see it on camera because it's just a matte primer, but I do like the consistency of it. Just a really nice, light feel, but nice and matte at the same time. That's really pretty. So both those primers are on my hand, and I actually think if you shift it from side to side, you can tell that like this side is really, really luminous, and then this side over here is just more like flat dimensional. That's nice. Okay, I think in terms of application for these, I'm gonna go ahead and split my face down the center and do matte on one side. So I'll do matte over here and then on the other side obviously we're gonna go in with some of the luminous primer and rub that in all right so now that everything's had a chance to really like settle down and sink into the skin this is the luminous side over here and i don't know if i don't think you can really see it on camera but i definitely can tell up close a little difference even if i just compare like this region on both sides between the two this one does have a really nice like light amount of um 
a very subtle type radiance to it whereas the more matte side just looks like it's more pressed in and it looks almost like it was very 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 lightly powdered but not because I can see like powdery residue just because it looks more um it doesn't look shiny it looks just very you know one dimensional which is really nice I think that they're both doing what they're supposed to be doing now as far as foundation goes obviously I don't have anything new from elf to test out for that so I'm just gonna go in with my pure four-in-one love your selfie this is in the shade LN and two and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a nice thin layer of this all over the face real quick all right guys so foundation is good and applied I did go ahead and go in with like maybe a pump pump and a half so not too much I didn't want to build up the coverage like overly intense if um if the coverage on the concealer wasn't gonna be as good I didn't want it to be like super uneven so I figured like make it a high medium type coverage go in with a little less it'll work out fine so foundation is on and now we're gonna talk about the new concealer from elf this is their hydrate camo concealer let's go ahead and pull it up on the Ulta app here real quick like it looks like on their website it says that this is in 25 shades I don't know if there's more or less on any other website but according to Ulta there are 25 different shades it retails for six dollars and it currently has four out of five stars with 80 reviews and it says here that it helps camouflage those pesky spots and under eye circles. Um, it is a full coverage, hydrating, long wear concealer featuring a large doe foot applicator to conceal, correct, contour, and highlight the, for flawless skin. The highly pigmented formula is lightweight with a satin finish and won't settle into fine lines or crease ideal for all skin types but great for dry skin now also with this concealer i went ahead and i picked up the matching sponge that they released it says this is the camo concealer sponge it retails for five dollars and it's supposed to be according to the packaging here best with our camo concealers uh because obviously they have this hydrating one but they also have their matte version as well and then i also just wanted to give you a comparison i also because i'm just crazy about sponges um these are their total face and body sponge which I've used these a million times on my channel talked about them a ton um, And I just wanted to give you like a size comparison if you're wondering how they compare um, as far as texture goes The total face and body sponge which again, I've used it a ton I really like it, but it does have with it more of like a porous actual sponge type consistency And I've noticed with some foundations I can't use this um, sponge because it does have like on the surface of it that more micro sponge texture so it'll actually leave like little dots on my skin it only happens with certain ones but i just want to let you guys know um but as far as the texture comparing these are in no way th the same like surface texture feel squished nothing about them is similar in that respect so if you're curious and you have a similar issue with this one this feels uh, totally different and it feels fantastic now with the concealer the elf concealer here i have this in the shade fair warm it looks very dark i don't know i don't know why it looks so dark um yeah let's go ahead and start there and let's blend it out i'm gonna obviously use their sponge it's just one nice light little coat <laughs> okay that actually looks really pretty minus the cat hair hello get off my sponge so while i'm just sitting here i'm kind of you know applying it to other areas seeing how it works and blends in it looks really nice like I love that consistency it blended out like a dream but I think my only critique if I had to have one would be I think with the sponge and I think it's just that the sponge I am noticing picks up a fair amount of product uh, but with that being said it's like five dollars and the consistency is fantastic so I mean if you are someone that has like super sensitive under eyes and you need you would prefer a smaller sponge something that has maybe dual points um, or you just want like a really really soft texture for your under eyes this is so nice. I don't know how I'd feel about it for like overall foundation because like it is a fair amount smaller and it doesn't have a larger surface, but it is so nice. And then under my eyes real quick, I'm just gonna go ahead and set it with my Maybelline Fit Me 05 Fair Loose Powder just like I normally do. Um, this looks so good. That concealer set down beautifully with the Maybelline Fit Me. I only set like my T-zone under eyes and then down through this region. The rest of it is still unset. And I think for that, mm, what do I wanna use? Do I wanna go in with cream products? I ask myself this every time. Do I wanna use cream products? No, I don't want to. And then I do anyways. So you know what? Let's just do it. Let's go ahead and try to sculpt out the face with this. This is the Makeup Revolution um, foundation 
lipstick. Yeah, and I have it in the shade F13. And then I'm gonna go in for that and use the uh, Total Face and Body Sponge from e.l.f. All right, so I know the forehead looks a little weird. We can fix that with powder. Um, but before I set the rest of the face, I do wanna use this little guy. This is my Flower Beauty Blush Bomb in Melon. It is one of my favorite shades. Oh, like look at this color. How could you not love this? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Um, but I think I'm gonna use the uh, e.l.f. sponge for this because it does have such a good consistency to it. Oh, it's bright. Oh, it's a lot. Oh, okay, let's blend. I sound like Winnie the Pooh all the time. I'm like, oh, like Paige, calm down, okay? Calm, you need to just calm down. All right, guys, so I just realized as I'm going through all these products and telling you stuff you don't care about because it has nothing to do with today's video um, that uh, I could just skip several products and save a lot of time. So I'm gonna run off of camera and do a bunch of stuff. I have to set my face and then I have to do bronzer and blush and I have to do my brows and my brow gel and all of that. So let me run ahead, get all of that stuff out of the way and then I'll come back on and then we can really dive into what we're here about, which is honestly, let's be real, the eyeshadow minis. So let me go ahead go off of camera, do this, and I will be right back. All right, you guys, I am back, and all those products are on my face. It's time to jump into eyeshadow, and I am freaking excited because I grabbed all of them. I grabbed every single one of the eight little mini palettes, and I could not be more excited. Now, obviously, as the, you know, name would imply, there's eight of these little quads, which means that there's eight little palettes, each with four shades. So in today's video, will I be able to use them all? No, but I thought it would be cool for me to at least pick up all of them. That way, I can show them to you. We can talk about like the overall, you know, quality. What do I think? How do they feel? Swatch, that sort of thing. And behind the scenes, I will use them over the next, you know, couple of weeks and I'll be able to come on here and tell you, you know, what do I think? Is, are they worth it? Are they not? Are they a good value? So on and so forth. So I did pick them up, but just obviously, so you guys know, I won't be using um, every single one in every shade today, but I still wanted to test them out. So let's go ahead and start diving into them individually, swatching them and all of that good stuff. All right. So this right here is the cream and sugar palette. These are so rich. Okay, so this one is hot jalapeno, or hot jalapeno, and look at that freaking gold up top. Oh my god, that one and the green underneath of it are so stunning. Oh my gosh, okay, so there's that. Wow. This is the pumpkin pie quad. Oh my word. I think so far, like just cause I was kind of thumbing through them earlier, that one does have a little bit less um, like variance to it than all the rest, but it's still really pretty. Ooh, that is, be look at that pink one up there. Oh, I love that shade. This is the Rose Water palette. Oh my God. And that, this one up here is the top one on my hand right there. Look at that. Oh my God, that's, that's probably one of my favorites so far. Oh, I love that color. Mm. <laughs> All right, so this is the Carnival Candy Palette, and the blue looks absolutely stunning. There is a shade up here that you can't quite see that's like my skin tone, but I really like these colors. I'm really drawn to this khaki color right here. That's absolutely stunning. Okay. This next one right here, this is the Acai U. <laughs> Get it like an Acai Berry. Um, that's the name of the quad. It's the adorable, like the names in this are super cute. Um, but this quad, when I looked at it at first, I was a little bit like thrown off because what I feel like looking at it, I couldn't quite decide, you know, is it gonna be too much of one color? How are you gonna really get any dimension with this? But once you swatch it, I really feel like there's more dimension in this than I thought, especially because of those two shimmers right there. This top one really has a beautiful, like, light shift to it. And I think this could actually be a nice complimentary type palette. This is really pretty. Okay, so out of all the palettes I've swatched, this one has been by far the most buttery, like, stunning situation. This is their Berry Bad palette. And at first I was like, oh, it's a little neutral, whatever. Guys, this is, this quality on this pad in particular is ridiculous. Like, oh my God, I love the colors and I love those two like shimmer shades in the middle. Those are beautiful. Ooh, these are really nice too. I love that silver shade. Okay, this is the last palette, which is called Truffles. It has a really nice, like smoky, deep kind of quality to it. And those are the shades. That silver up there is stunning. And all three of the other shades are matte and those are really nice and creamy too. Overall though, those are all eight palettes. We've swatched them, we've looked at them. I think what I'm gonna do now is come up with like which palettes I want to use so we can kind of play around. So just real quick, priming with my Hourglass Concealer in the shade Birch, in case you're curious. Um, I've been testing it out for as both a concealer and an eyeshadow primer. Still testing it out, but just so you know. I think I'm gonna go in first with the Rosewater palette, and I'm gonna take the lighter color right here. It's like a 
I would say a bone shade mixed with a purple. Wow, these have a substantial amount of kick in them, like kick and fluffy, but that's okay. Um, a lot of times softer shadows blend really nicely, so let's just go ahead and apply. And I'm gonna throw that shade on through the crease here with my Morphe Y19. This is just more so going to be a color that I use to kind of get us started so everything else has a place to blend. I think from there I'm gonna switch over to the Berry Bad eyeshadow palette right here. And I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade in the palette and I'm gonna take that on a Scott Barnes 62, which has a really nice point to it. And I am going to, I think, just kind of focus that one up into a higher crease right up through here. Just cause I wanna start building this area but I'm not sure which color will work the best for this. Like I like that one, but I don't think it's giving me quite the definition. Hold on, I might need to might need to change up my strategy just a little bit here. Cause I think I want to go for like a nice high crease kind of moment. Hmm, yeah, it's not quite giving me what I need. Hold on, back to the drawing board. Right, so change of plans. We're gonna go in same palette with my BH Cosmetics V20. It's a tiny little blender, and I'm gonna grab the deepest matte shade in the palette right here. And, uh, ooh, girl, she's got, she got some color. And uh, we're going to take this and throw it right up and kind of create a new upper crease right through here just to deepen up this area and kind of shape out. That way when I go in with my shimmer shade right through there, I'll have a new kind of inlet for my, um, for my eye socket. It'll just help make my inner eye look a little bit larger. Cause y'all, I think today I'm gonna do a cut crease. Ooh, yes, okay. And you'll notice that I ran a fair amount of that dark shadow up there. And that's cause when I go in with my cut crease, my cut crease will actually eliminate a lot of that color. So it won't be there. This is one of those moments for sure where you're gonna have to stick with me cause it'll get bad before it gets good. Um, ho hopefully it gets good, who knows. Now on the outer V here, I'm gonna go in with that same deep shade and I'm gonna take this BH brush and I don't know which one it is. I wanna say it's the nine out of the red, the pink marble set, but I'm honestly not sure. So this brush and we're gonna take that deeper shade and we're going to put that on the outer V and kind of blend it up. And this is, again, just to begin building that gradient for the deeper shade, because I'm going to build up the outer view with a little bit deeper shade as well. But I want to make sure that I have something to blend it into. So now we're going to go in and lighten up a little bit over through here. And I'm going to bust out a new palette. This is the Cream and Sugar palette. And out of this one, I'm going to take the lightest bone color matte shade right, ooh, right over there. And we are going to take this... And we're going to very lightly just kind of blend it through. This is the Scott Barnes 61 brush. We're just going to lightly blend it up through that area just to diffuse that darkness a little bit up there. Now I'm going to go back in with my Hourglass Concealer. I'm going to give myself just a little bit of a cut crease here. I am making this, uh, this cut crease a little bit wider than usual. Just going in and really bringing it big into that uh, into that inner V right there. All right, now with that done, you guys, it's time. Your girl's finally doing it. I've used the same tube for forever and we're gonna open up a fresh NYX glitter glue. Ooh, I'm so excited. Get garbage is right next to me. It's fine, who cares? But anyways, we're gonna take some NYX glitter glue because I use this all the time. It really helps with my lids to um, adhere the shadows because for some reason I have super inhospitable eyelids and they just never want to cling to like shimmers or glitters or anything. So I use this anytime I go in with a shimmer and it really helps it stick to my lid. And I know for sure the first color I'm going in with is this one right here out of the Rose Rosewater palette. Yeah, the Rosewater palette. Um, Cause I had my eye on that from the very beginning. So for the majority of the color, I'm just gonna go in with my finger. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Um, and I'm going to pack that down with my finger. Ooh, yep, mm-hmm, good decisions, good decisions. But because this is more of a cut crease style, I'm also gonna go in with my flat brush here. This is a Morphe M421, and I am going to kind of cut in and make sure that I get a nice crisp little line up here just to, you know, give it that precision. I really want to play around with this blue palette. This is the Acai U palette, and I love this shade. It's one of the shimmers. 
and apparently I'm gonna put it back here. I did not mean, I just like started doing it and then I was like, what have you done? I guess we're, we're committing, okay. So we're just gonna pop that shade. I'm going in with a really light hand just so it's a nice like lilt of color and it'll really complement the lower lash line. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of Berry Bad and deepen up the crease line just a little bit just to make sure that I have as much dimension as possible right up here. And then also out of this palette, I'm gonna grab this deeper toned, really nice red shade. It's a shimmer. And I'm gonna throw that on my outer V and kind of butt it up against that like bluer tone shade because I think it'll actually marry really nicely. Oh wow, I freaking love that. And you know, I was gonna like deepen it up and keep going, but I think it looks really nice and kind of simple the way that it is. I'm gonna go in with this really nice light blue color right here. And I'm going to light periwinkle matte shade. It's a very light shade, so I do have to be a little bit more intentional and really work with it because the like I said, very light tone. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna actually butt up against the lower lash line, I think, with this dark shade. And I'm gonna do that with a Morphe M410. It's more of just like a flat kind of liner brush. Ooh, see that? It's just like just enough of that blue tone to like give us a little flavor, but it's not too overwhelming either. Ooh, that's pretty. All right, so I'm gonna go back in with that really nice, like that uh, bright shimmery color that I put mainly all over the lid. And I'm actually gonna pop that a little bit down onto the lower lash line as well. And then a touch in the inner corner. I actually love where this look came out. Oh my gosh. I keep wanting to like play with it and like be overbearing, but I think I'm actually going to make myself stop. I'm gonna do this eye. I'll be back and uh, we're gonna finish out the video. So hang tight and let me go, <laughs> let me go do this eye. And all right guys, I am back. Both eyes are finished. I love the way that this turned out. I think the cut crease is absolutely beautiful. And I did go ahead and add a little bit of black eyeliner to the top waterline. And then a little bit of one of my Marc Jacobs eyeliners just to the bottom, just to give it a little bit more pop um, because I thought it looked a little fun. So this is where we're at right now. And now we're going to actually move in to the, um, the eyelash curler from e.l.f. And I just looked it up on the Ulta website, which is where I purchased it. And this is only $4 and I have only opened it like this far. I gotta say for $4, this is not what I thought. This is actually looking pretty nice. Um, so let's go ahead here, give it a little look-see, take off the little, <laughs> little clamp, get off here. And this is, oh my gosh, that actually feels really nice. It has really nice handles on it. I know this is like a super weird review of a curling thing, eyelash curler, but it feels really good. All right, let's go ahead here and give it a little clamp. Ooh, wow, that is, it's actually a really beefy curler too. Holy cow, okay. That's actually really nice. All right, obviously I've only used it once, but it, it did a good job. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just throw on some mascara. This is my L'Oreal Age Perfecting Mascara. And then with that applied, guys, we have one item left and that is some lipstick. And these are the e.l.f. Seriously Satin Lipsticks. They retail for $3 a piece. They come in 10 different shades and currently sitting with nine reviews. They have four out of five stars. And I picked it up obviously in three different colors here. I think I'm gonna test out this one first. This is the shade Cider. The packaging on these is just a clear plastic packaging. The color is really nice. Okay, so that's my brown nude. Definitely won't match for today. <laughs> okay, so this is the shade Coco, which I just read the container and thought it said cocaine. So that's good. Um, but this is the shade Coco. I really like that. That would actually match this eye really nicely. So this one is a contender. This is the shade Nectar, which is a really light, almost like peachy kind of color. Um, I actually think that could look really nice if I lightly did it on the inside of that deeper color. Maybe Maybe that's what we'll do. Go ahead here and take a little bit of the deeper shade. Now that's that color all over the lips, which is a little bit darker than I'd intended. I do like the color though, um, but I wanna remove just like a little, a little bit, like right in the center, just lighten it up a freckle. I'm gonna go in with that lighter shade Nectar. And all right, you guys, that is the finished look. I'm gonna go ahead and throw up the up close on the screen just so you guys can take a look at it. Let me know what you think. Um, overall, I have to say, I love the way the entire full face turned out. I think out of all the products, I am pretty impressed, like just as an overall consensus. Obviously, I'll have to give you an update, you know, and kind of feel out the situation, but I can already see a difference between the two primer sides. And I think on the luminous primer side, the only thing that I'm seeing that I'm not loving is I feel like it almost is 
is emphasizing like my pores on my overall cheek region whereas on the other side I'm not seeing that nearly as much it looks a little bit more settled it doesn't really surprise me because with luminous products on like textured skin in general it does emphasize so I'm not surprised but just something I can see already at this stage um, the concealer so far looks really nice it's settling down I haven't had any issues with it blended like a dream the sponges are really nice the lipsticks the only issue that I'm having with these is that they're called seriously satin lipsticks and this might just be like you know like picking at hairs but when I picture like a seriously satin lipstick I expect it to have a little bit of lilt a little bit of luminosity and be not so like dry down on the lips and I am noticing that these have sorry they already rubbed off a little bit on the like inner corners right there um but I am noticing with this lipstick in particular again going in with two different shades there's almost no satin aspect to these they have much more of a like dry down quality more of almost like a soft matte than I would say anything satin but that's you know it depends on what you're into for me because my lips are super sensitive um it's it's a good comfortable matte for me. I wouldn't call it satin, but again, semantics. But you guys, that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. And if you haven't checked me out, Instagram and on Twitter, those will both be linked in the description. But if you haven't subscribed, that's probably the most important thing. So subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and be sure to come back and hang out with me every morning, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I do put up a new video and they go up between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in good old Northern Michigan. So subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and uh, don't forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I am sweaty. Oh, so sweaty. I feel like a Yeti <laughs> that got trapped in a storm. I don't know why that's what I feel like, but you know, that's just what we are, I guess, today. It's fine. Um, I'm sorry. Did anybody else happen to notice that I basically matched my foundation shade today? <laughs> I'm sorry. Where where was the pad on my back? <laughs> Nobody said anything, so I'm gonna say it for you. <gasps> Good job, Paige. <laughs> Good job. This is my wharf, my wharfy. Oh, don't you fall. You fell. That was rude. That was so rude. Where did it go? Oh yeah. Okay. Cause I'm supposed to get back there. You know what? It's very rude of you to do that to your chunky monkey mother who cannot reach you.